One of the biggest misconceptions about data science is that the first step of a data science project is to start with some data, and you should not do that. If you're a student, maybe you're starting with some toy data and then doing analysis from there, but in the real world, you will not be starting a project with data. Instead, this is the data science workflow. The first step is to scope a project. That means just trying to figure out what you're trying to do. So first, you wanna understand what the business problem is. So maybe you're trying to increase sales or better understand your customers, and then you come up with solutions. So maybe you decide you want to use a clustering algorithm to better segment your customers, or maybe you choose a non-data science approach by maybe surveying your customers or interviewing them, or maybe looking at Google Analytics to do some exploratory analysis and so on. Okay, so after you figure out what your business problem is and brainstorm solutions, the next step is to figure out what data you need. And with data, I always start by thinking pie in the sky. So think about what would be the ideal scenario if you could get any data that you wanted. Start from there and then start to get more realistic. And the reason for this is if you start with some data, then you're gonna be limited to just the data that you have for your analysis. But if you start really big and think about all the different data sources you can get, then you're gonna get much more creative with your data analysis and be able to use some novel data sets. Okay, so the first step was to scope your project. The next step is now to gather data. So based on what data you scoped, then you can gather data through a variety of methods as a data scientist. Maybe you decide you want to just get it from a spreadsheet or a database. You can also get it through an API or scrape a website and there are just tons of options there. The next step is to clean your data. And there are many data cleaning techniques such as looking at missing values, dealing with typos and so on. And then once you get your data cleaned and in a standard format, then you move on to exploratory data analysis or EDA. And to explore your data, means to sort your data, filter your data, visualize your data in a way that you can get a better understanding of what your data feels like before you move into the next step, which is modeling. Now the next step of the data science process is the most fun part of all, and it is applying machine learning models, such as clustering, regression, and so on. And finally, after you do all that, the last step of the data science workflow is to share your insights. That can be through a presentation, that can be through recommendations, and so on. And if you're in a more technical setting, you might even deploy a model. So that means that other people are able to use your model to see what predictions it spits out and get the insights they want by interacting with your model. And that is the data science workflow. Remember, never start a project with data. Instead, start with scoping your project and then move on to gathering data.